Well, I'm not the kind to kiss and tell, but I've been seen with fire up. I've never been with anything less than a nine, so fine. I've been on fire with Sally Field, gone past with a girl named Bo. But somehow they just don't end up as mine. It's a death defying life I lead. I take my chances. I die for a living in the movies and TV. But the hardest thing I ever do is watch my leading ladies kiss some other guy while I'm bandaging my knee. I might fall from a tall building. I might roll a brand new car. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman that made Redford such a star. I've never spent much time in school, but I taught ladies plenty. It's true, I hire my body out for pay. Hey, hey, I've gotten burned over Cheryl Teague's blown up for Rocky Welch. But when I wind up in the hay, it's only hay. Hey, hey, I might jump an open drawbridge or Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuff man that makes Eastwood look so fine. This is great, Jody. I never thought they'd make a film out of this book. You read it? Sure. One of the greatest science fiction books ever written. All right, Colt, go for it. Ambulance, fire extinguishers, fire crew, stand by. Here he comes. Okay, keep your fingers crossed. I can't. I'll drop my rabbit's foot if I do. Moving in fast. Get ready to ignite the explosives. Ready. Set the timer on the explosives. He's got to get through that wall and beat those explosions in time or he's in deep trouble. God, that's great, Cole. Beautiful. Good. Exploded perfectly. Yeah. Ah. Are you okay, Cole? No, I'm okay. I think the bike's terminal. Well, it was nice going. We can get the second half of the stunt early Monday morning. Early? How early? I have a late date Sunday night. Kid, you're just gonna have to sacrifice for your art. Don't worry, Howie. She probably won't show up. Forget it, Terry. I have a picture to finish on Monday, and I'm busy on the weekend. Oh, you mean Cabo San Lucas, deep sea fishing? That's right. Oh, poor baby. You haven't heard yet, have you? Heard what? Well, there's a Pacific low coming in from Hawaii, and I'm afraid you can forget about fishing all this weekend. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 really, really. Look right here. You see? Severe storm warning. Well, it doesn't change anything. I still got to work on Monday. Cole, this will take you the most. One or two days. Where have I heard that before? It's at a dude ranch in Arizona. All expenses paid, plus a substantial fee. Oh, that's terrific. But what if it takes more than a couple of days? Besides, Ferris may not be there. Oh, no, no. He'll be there. What's he wanted for? Andrew Ferris was caught during an armed robbery stealing from a government supply warehouse. The others got away with some anti-personnel grenades, ammunition, automatic weapons, explosives. Hmm. Sounds like somebody's starting a war. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Ferris jumped bail, and my informant says he's been seen at this ranch. It might be fun to go to a dude ranch. Well, there. We'll send Jody down to the dude ranch. Let her check the dude Ferris out, and I'll be down on Tuesday. What if I get him myself? Well, it'd save me a trip. But I'd be careful. Sounds like he's heavily armed. I'll disarm him. Colt, how come they always put dude ranches in out-of-the-way places like this? Well, kid, they want to give the customers a taste of the Old West. This is the Old West? Yeah, well, it's been remodeled. 
What other information do you have on Ferris? Just what Terry told us. He and his buddies were ripping off the warehouse. What do you think he was up to? I hope we don't have to find out. Maybe we could spend a few extra days out on the range. Horseback riding, the smell of the sage, the crackle of the campfire. Well, you can have the wide open spaces, kid. I'll take a hot pool and the crackle of soda over ice. You think Jody spotted Ferris? I don't know. It sure ain't hard to spot Jody. Looks like a tough job. Mm, it is. Every couple of hours, you gotta turn over. How come you guys are late? Well, I thought you'd have Ferris totally disarmed by now. Fat chance. I can't even get close to the guy. If it takes a couple extra days, that's the way it goes, right? What's the problem? Come on, I'll show you. They're in a private compound. This dude ranch is my front, but we're here for business. Sergeant, I had a complaint from one of my lady guests. So I walked in the wrong room. How's that supposed to know she's taking a bath? Besides, I'm the one that should complain. She had a rotten figure. <laughs> Let me tell you something, mister. You will have absolutely nothing to do with my guests. They are off limits to you, and the rest of you men, you're being paid $10,000 for this operation. You pull another stunt like that, and I will have you put back in the cage where you belong. Do you understand me? And Lustig, never look at me like that ever again. Ferris, you almost bust us up at the warehouse robbery. You were stupid. You're my explosive man, but I swear, you pull another stunt like that and I'll have you wired to the plastique. That's our man, Colt. Wonder who the tall fellow is, the one in the different outfit. Oh, that's Baker. He plays host at the ranch when he's not cracking his whip at the gorillas. I know that guy with the glove. I brought his brother in last year. I thought they had that fruitcake locked up. Boy, they look like leftovers from the planet of the apes. What did Terry get us into? These guys are a bunch of maniacs. And they all carry guns. Come on, come on. Is Ferris always with those guys? Or the others. Does Terry know what this is all about? Yeah, I took some pictures. I sent them to her by messenger and she should have them by now. Hey, good thinking. The only thing is, I gotta figure out a way to isolate Ferris, grab him, and get out of here. Well, what about those other nuts? I don't know part of them. The best way to get to Ferris might be her, that brunette over there. She's his friend, or at least she knows him. You know, Howie, uh, I know you're gonna hate this, but maybe you ought to try to get friendly with her. You just might learn something useful. Think you can manage her, Howie? She looks like she sees to the best. Jody. When you will it, it will come true, say the Zen masters. A Zen who? When I studied at the monastery. Monastery? On Mount Fuji. I think he fell off. Will you get out of here? I wonder how he's going to pull this off. I don't know, but it seems to be working. Jody, let's go check out Ferris again. I warn you, I don't believe in vacation romances. Why, well, hey, neither do I. I believe that people should start out as friends. In fact, Pythagoras wrote that friendship is one soul and two bodies. Did Pythagoras write anything about swimming? Well, I don't... I'm staying at the Annex. Meet me over at the pool in about 20 minutes. Great. I'll just go get changed. Uh, by the way, where is the Annex? It's on the other side of the golf course. All right, Ferris, I want you to go back to the camp with explosives, and I'll be watching you from the chopper to make sure you're not followed. All our plans and codes are in the bunker. This is one operation that's running by the book. All right, let's go. He's alone. This may be my chance. Let's go. All right, if I'm lucky and grab him, we have to get out of here fast. Now stay close to your radio. Why 
line her up. Where to, sir? Head back to the camp. I want to make sure Ferris isn't followed. Yes, sir. Red 4, this is Airborne 1. You read me. Come in, Ferris. Yes, sir. You're coming in loud and clear. Careful, driver. Those explosives. Don't worry about it. What the? Circle back, there's somebody following Ferris. Red 5, Airborne 1. Red 5, Airborne 1, call it. Lustig, get on the horn. It's for you. Lustig, where are you? Yeah, yeah, what is it? You're Red 5, remember? Sure, Red 5. What do you want, Baker? Now, there's someone tailing the Jeep. It could be a wanderer, but let's find out. I'm with you, baby. Say what? Uh, sorry, Airborne 1. <laughs> let's make it, Ogden! Howdy. You, uh, staying over at the Red Sands? Yeah, that's right. Ranch security. Road's all broken up down the line. Oh, thanks for the warning. Say, uh, don't I know you from someplace? Uh, no, I don't think so. Anyway, thanks again. I'll just uh, head back. Jody, I'm still following Ferris. Okay. Here comes Ferris. Ferris alone. Round up Howie and get ready to roll. I'll try and find him. Let's go. Who the hell are you? Colt Severs is the name. Authorities, Los Angeles Municipal Court. And now let's go.
just our way of saying hello, mister. And we got an even better way of saying goodbye. Just who the hell are you, mister? The Black Plague. That's over. Get it! You want to stay alive, make it look good. You jerk him undercover. Get it! Don't pull any punches or you're dead. You lit your own fuse, Morgan. Morgan? You know this man, Ferris? Yeah, I know him. Clip me for eight grand in Angola. You never had eight thousand in your life, you scum. Quiet. I'll deal with you later. Come on. Easy, easy, ah. easy. Oh, sir. I'm sorry, you can't go through like that. This is the annex, isn't it? I'm supposed to meet somebody. Uh, yes, sir, but I'm afraid you're going to have to conform to the dress code. Dress code? I'm dressed for the pool. <laughs> I'm afraid you're overdressed, sir. You see, this is the nude annex. Nude? <laughs> you're kidding. You're not kidding. Who told you about our operation? Grapevine. What's your specialty, Morgan? He thinks he's demolition. Knock it off, Ferris. As of now, you're out. Explosives. Get Ferris to the van. We're going to drop him off at the hospital. We haven't got time to waste with the wounded. You're not going to let him live. You don't know anything about him. Let's waste him. That's my decision. Now get moving. Move! All three of them are stunt people. That's interesting. Anything else you can tell me about them? Seabers is a bounty hunter. Hmm. Very enlightening. I was beginning to think you didn't want to see me. Oh, no, I wanted to see you very much. What I mean is, uh, it's terrific to see you. <laughs> uh, what I mean to say is that the expression a woman wears on her face is more important than the clothes she wears on her back. I think I'll get something cold to drink. How about you? Uh, no, no, I think I'll just sit right here and soak up the invigorating rays. Uh, don't let me stop you. Hey, how far is this hospital anyway? Don't worry about it, just drive. Where was your last show, Morgan? Nicaragua. A fink ended up blowing the whole deal for us. Yeah, well, unfortunately, it never came off. Yeah, and it was mostly your fault, Morgan. Hey, blow it out your ear, Ferris. You fouled it up and you know it. What's with a third degree? I mean, the Colonel don't believe you, Morgan. He's no good, Colonel. He'd cut off his own mother's hair if he could make a buck. You've had an interesting career, Morgan. Talk to Jojo Boyle about his career. Morgan was involved in the Madagascar bust-up. What else are you gonna spill about me, Fink? What brought you into the freelance soldier business? Well, what else was there after Nam? What outfit were you in? Second Battalion, Special Forces. You were stationed up around Pyongyang, weren't you? No, Tangsu. Who was your CO? Colonel John Sanderson. You must have known him. Why? You were right across the Mekong. Green Beret. Hmm. Uh, excuse me. May I ask 
Krista, where are you going? I'm going out of the pool. Well, you can't go out there just like that. Don't worry, I'm not going swimming. Uh, this is the nude sunbathing area. Uh, look, you don't understand. A person's life is at stake. It's up to you. Go nude. Save a life. Well? I'm thinking. Jody, Jody, what are you doing here? Like that? Don't get up! Listen, Colt wants us to move as soon as he gets here. So get going! After I leave! What about Celeste? Write her a letter. We've lost enough time already. Do you have a spare towel? Ferris? Not exactly. He was in the hospital with a broken leg. Seems he's not the person Terry thought he was. Well, who is he? Some kind of government agent. Anyway, call Terry, tell her to send an ambulance under escort and get him out of that hospital. And then we're getting out. Hey, Morgan! Call yourself over here. Baker wants us to stay nice and close together. Use the alternate plan. Yeah. Come on. Kill a guy and you know why? All the time. That name Morgan? Don't feel right. Hey, can I buy you a drink? Uh, uh sure. Who are you? I'll tell you after I tell you about you. Me? Colt Seavers, stuntman, bounty hunter, and I hope a patriotic citizen. Army counterintelligence. I talked with Ferris at the hospital and then checked you out. Ferris was our mole inside Baker's operation. He was supposed to bring out Baker's plans and his codes, but you sprang our trap. We've got to find out what Baker's target is and when it's going to happen. The Pentagon's elected you, Colt. Yeah, but, but Baker hasn't bought me yet. He will. We've given you a background that makes Al Capone look like a Sunday school teacher. I'm going to put this on the most basic level. Your country needs you more than ever. That's just realistic. Good. Tell Jody and Howie to get rid of Lustig. Howie, Jody, hi. Terry, what are you doing here? I came just as soon as I saw your photographs. Well, why didn't you call? I was afraid your room phone might be tapped. Where's Cole? He's over there. Cole, hi. I just checked out those pictures Jody sent. Cole? To me. Oh, um, well, I see it, but I don't believe it. You actually are a woman. Thank you. Cole, well, listen, I've got to apologize to you. I'm so sorry. I had no idea what I was getting you into. Oh, no, no, no. It's okay. I, I remember your exact words. Uh, Colt, this uh, job is a breeze. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. So the breeze turned into a hurricane. Listen, do you know who these men are? Alvin Trump escaped from a federal penitentiary in Atlanta after bashing his cellmate over the head and stuffing him into a mattress. Mark Figg escaped from a hospital for the criminally insane after killing his psychiatrist. And we were introduced. Colt, please. I am perfectly prepared to give up my bail. I just don't want you dealing with these people. I want you out. I'm sorry that's too late. Our operations are already in the works. You have a hell of a reputation, Morgan. I'm taking you in with us. What's the deal? $10,000, round trip, one week. Dress rehearsal tomorrow morning, we'll leave tomorrow night. Now, are you in? I'm in. Good. Welcome aboard. I'll buy you a drink. Wait a minute. I got it! Amarillo, that's where it was. Amarillo. His name's not Morgan, it's... Seavers, with a lousy... Oh, uh, wait a minute, sugar. What about me? That my brother ran out of a bar. I remember him plenty. Warren 
mind. All right, everybody down there, I'm on my way. Let's start the rehearsal. Where the hell is Lusty? Terry, tell us the last we'll go after last. Come on. Truck. Good driving, Jody. Looks like we beat Lustig here. Keep it running. Where are you going? I gotta warn Colt Lustig is coming. Over here, Morgan. Drop in, kid. What are you doing out here anyway? Well, I came to warn you. Lustig knows who you are. Looks different right now, doesn't it? You all right? Did you see the way I came over that hill? What a stunt. Gravity did all the work. Oh, look what we got. Well, don't admire them. Use them. Lower the drawbridge, kid. Bob's away. <laughs> we made it. What are they so mad about? People are just sensitive, kid. I have them in sight. Now get us down there. Get it broadside. I can't get a clear shot. It's too dangerous. Do it. 
getting closer. How can you tell? Perfect, I can't miss. Hang on. All units proceed to sector 64. I'm going in to finish the job. Don't think we're under the Jeep. That's just what I want them to do. You're right. There's the executioner. How do we get out of here? There's our transportation, kid. Come on. to base and get those plans. Lady, I hope coming out here makes some kind of sense. Look, I told you, the case turned out bigger than we thought. Now, someone's already been hurt. A guy, he's a member of Army Counterintelligence. And there's a good chance that someone could get killed if we don't get out there right away. Anybody who is a bounty hunter has got to be crazy. Look, what about that guy at the hospital? He could be in danger from those creeps. I've already stationed one of my deputies at the hospital. Okay. I'd be glad to see that ranch again. Yeah, well, not for a while. It's the only way we can stop Baker. What are you talking about? Oh, we're going in the wrong direction. No, we're not. But we're headed back to Baker's camp. This may be a dumb question, but what are you doing? I have a plan in mind. Do you want to share it? Part of it. We're going back to get Baker's plans and codes for his operation. That's it? Anything else? I haven't got it all worked out yet. Wonderful. You want to go back in the bunker? This is your plan? You've seen too many instant replays. What are we looking for, Cole? Baker's plan of operation. We'll see if we can find out what he's up to. You see what you can find. I'll try and get help. Jody should be with the sheriff by now. Jody, do you read me? What do the plans look like? Well, you'll know him when you see them. We gotta find out what he's up to. Jody, this is Colt. Do you read? That's him, Colt. Colt, Jody here. Where are you? At Baker's camp. Listen, get help as quick as you can. I'm ahead of you. I'm with, um... I'm with, uh... This here is Sheriff Joe Mayrack. Now, just what is going on? Now, good work, Jody. Sheriff, anybody tell you you have a mighty sweet voice? Well, a few years back, I used to be a pretty good country western singer. Of course, that's before I got into law enforcement. And yeah, where are you? Just passing Lunar Rock. Question is, where are you? Well, I'm not sure. It's some kind of compound. We're in an underground bunker. Hey, you're at the old National Guard training base. How far are you from here? Just around the corner, so to speak. Hang tight. This is it, Cole. It's all here, the plans and the codes. So we got Baker and Nathan. Get out the guns of the bazooka and keep the chopper warm. Morgan, or whatever your name is, you've got exactly three minutes to get out of there or you are ashes. I gotta get this information out. Cold this, there's no time to make calls. Let's burn them out. Don't be a fool. 
That whole operation depends on the codes. I need them intact. Besides, those two only got one way out of there. Jody, do you read? Got you, Colt. Smoke them out. We found Baker's plan and his codes. Now, I don't know if we'll be able to make it out. Colt! So get this and get it fast. Okay, far away. Oh, I wish you hadn't said that. Jody, the mission's an insurrection in San Marcos. Baker and his men are going to hit the main power station in the capital. Warn our counterintelligence that an uprising at the San Marcos airport in 12 hours signals the start of the revolution. I ought to give you guys a medal for this. I hate posthumous medals. <laughs> Sheriff said this was an old guard's barracks. Should be an air shaft in here somewhere. Not necessarily. They usually take it out with the equipment. I say we make a run for it. How far do you think we'd get? Is that part of your plan? Yeah. The part that wasn't worked out yet. Gas masks. Once I get in there, Seavers is never gonna make it out alive. Baker ain't gonna like you. <laughs> well, I'd smoke who's gonna tell. <coughs> like a smoked fish. <coughs> Cole, look at this. What? This must be the air shaft. Let's get down there. Get out of here! There must be. There's only one way out. Not anymore. Follow him in there. Let's go for the chopper. We'll never get near it. Well, I hate to be childish, but if we can't play with Baker's toy, neither can he. Stop at the truck, Sheriff. Where Colt left it. See? What'd I tell you? By golly, this ain't no paramilitary operation. This is World War III. They're heading for the rocks. Move out! A bazooka. They're bringing out a bazooka, Cole. Have you figured out the rest of your plan? It's taking shape, kid. Well, could you plot it a little faster? Well, there's never a rider around when you need one. So what are we gonna do? 
what we usually do. Improvise. You ready? Ready. Hey, this is just like the way we did Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Remember the end part where we charge out and face the entire militia? Yeah, I remember. We died. Hey, Gal, where are you going? After Colton Howie, follow me! Ready to fire, Colonel. Fire! Cole, my reality says we should surrender. That ain't reality, that's fantasy. Cole, he's a military man. His entire psyche is honed by the rule book. Yeah, the part that says take no prisoners. Fire! Third time is the charm. This is a no-miss situation. On target, ready to fire. Fire! Watch out! Get over that ridge. Will we? Only if we fly. Hey, you did good, Jody. Oh, I had the best teacher. What's your next demonstration? Oh, watch me. We can hardly wait. One down, three to go. Counterintelligence carries insurance. the good colonel with us, Jody. Baker's getting close, Colt. I'm gonna try and make him pass us. Well, it's your show, Jody. Oh, get out. Operation's over, Colonel. 
not to the last drop of blood, it isn't. Well, I don't intend it to be mine. <gasps> it's too bad, Colonel. Not a drop of blood anywhere. Here's to a nice, easy job next time. And here's to being rich enough so I can turn it down. And here's to me. And why not? Howie? Oh, I was just thinking about Celeste. Are you thinking about seeing her again, kid? Well, yeah. No. I... Well, I mean, sure, I, I wouldn't mind seeing her again, but not like that, if that's what you meant. Not that I think there's anything wrong with that. It's perfectly healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight at 8, Ned checks out the controversy and the players who took centre stage in Champions League Heroes, while we check in with Gotham City's hero next in Double Batman.